On behalf of the Texas Department of State Health Services newborn screening team, thank you for the work that you do to ensure that every baby in Texas receives the best medical services possible for a healthy life. This short video will guide you through the primary steps taken by newborn screening follow-up staff after an abnormal screening result. It is critical to notify the families and medical providers as soon as possible, and we'll show you how you can help. Thank you for taking the time to watch and for your support of the babies and families affected by disorders identified through newborn screening. Your actions can save the lives of Texas babies. Let's get started. An abnormal screening result may mean that a baby may have a possible serious health condition that could cause growth problems, developmental delays, deafness, blindness, intellectual disability, seizures, or early death. Early treatment can prevent or decrease these complications and newborn screening follow-up staff is responsible for contacting medical providers as soon as possible. They also give providers information about more testing and treatment. Follow-up staff includes nurses and public health and prevention specialists. Once results have been reported, it's important to get testing and intervention started as quickly as possible. Pediatric specialists are available at several centers throughout the state to help physicians diagnose and treat children identified by the newborn screening program. To achieve timely intervention, here are some things that you can do. HIPAA privacy standards permits covered entities to release private health information to a public health authority that is approved by law to collect and receive information for newborn screening. Under HIPAA, you may release information to follow-up staff. It is important that the most current primary care provider and phone number is listed on each newborn screening card. Up-to-date information helps to quickly contact the baby's doctor. This sometimes saves hours, if not days, that can be vital to the baby's health. This helps primary care physicians recognize that the baby is their patient and supports quick response by the provider. Hours or days may be lost simply because the provider does not have record of an appointment. Have a single point of contact who coordinates follow-up for abnormal screening results in your area. This coordinator receives information about abnormal screening results, assists with coordinating recommended actions, and provides information to newborn screening follow-up staff. Some examples of information usually requested are Confirming that the baby is a patient of the reported primary care physician. Follow-up staff must check specific birth information to make sure that screening results are correct. For example, some results depend on the baby's birth weight. If the birth weight is wrong, the newborn screen results can be incorrect. Gestational age and birth weight also help specialists decide treatment plans and how quickly to follow up. Provide timely follow-up diagnostic test results for abnormal screens to newborn screening follow-up staff. Newborn screening follow-up staff will always attempt to locate the baby's primary care physician to report abnormal screening results. If the primary care physician listed on the screening card is not correct, follow-up staff will contact the submitting facility to help find the correct primary care physician. If a primary care physician is not found, Follow-up staff will contact the mother to ask about the current primary care physician. When special situations arise or if you have questions, contact the DSHS Newborn Screening follow-up staff for assistance whenever needed. 